It is here. It is finally time. The transfer window has opened on episode number six. We're going to be playing through January today. We're going to be making our first transfers of FIFA 23 and our first transfers in this Spurs series. And I'm super excited. We also have the North London Derby in this. Maybe some revenge against Liverpool. I think they're the two games I'm going to play. It depends how much transfer business we have to do because you guys have been absolutely Firing in your suggestions. And we have 83 million to spend. Well, a little bit more than that because the wage budget works a little bit funky this year. So the weekly wage budget will be taken off at the same time as doing the transfer. It's a weird system this year, but we have a little bit more than, I'm guessing, 83 million. And we've got some money to spend, but you guys have been suggesting a lot of players to bring into the club, but you've also been suggesting players to leave the team and yeah i mean i was a little bit surprised i didn't understand how much hatred people had for this guy and of course after the north london derby he didn't do himself any favors in staying in this team so you want to see him gone and i listen to what you guys say there was enough of you that was saying get rid of emerson so we're going to add him to the transfer list now he should be valued at quite a decent price which is 21.5 million i'm obviously going to try my best to get more money than that out of him we're going to let him go which does mean we're probably going to need another right wing back because i already let matt doherty go so we're going to have to sign another right wing back which I don't think we're blessed with on our shortlist. And it looks like Spence will be the starting right back. He's been very good for us, though. He's gone up by two overall so far. So I'm not too worried about having him as the starting right back. Now, before we go in and make our first signing of this series, which I already know who I'm going for, we are going to play this Leeds game. Well, we're not going to play it. We're going to play the attacking highlights and see how we get on in this one. But if you are new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. We're already nearly at 6K. And the goal for the end of this... This year's FIFA is just to try and get 10k. So thank you very much for the love and support you guys are showing. This will be the starting 11 that we do go with for the Leeds game. We're going to go Richarlison up top because Harry Kane is tired. Son, we've got Perisic in there, Kulusevski. We're going to stick with this formation again for now. Legendary four minutes. I The sliders have been really tweaked now. We've been looking on Operation Sports. They're really being tweaked because... I'm starting to notice massive changes that we've started to tweak the sliders. And the game has been a lot better. I will release them. I'll show them once we've got a set that I think is good enough. But right now, if I'm going to continue to tweak them, there's no point giving you them because I'm just going to keep tweaking them. That is the Leeds United starting 11. Obviously, my team, the team that I support. And hopefully, we can do well against them. Well, what will be interesting as well is seeing what transfer deals the other teams do in order to improve themselves as well. I'm really excited to see what players come in and we can kind of see what activity we're going to see from the AI in career mode this year with some of the transfers they make. Hopefully not too wacky. Never an easy place to come is Ellen Road. Within any doubt, this will be a difficult task. Now, it's nil-nil for our first highlight. It's not your typical good highlight because we're just going to have to build up some play here. And this is my first game of the day. And I had Sunday off. We had all of Sunday off. So I actually had a really relaxed Sunday. And it's showing because that was absolutely horrendous. Now, why is this still playing out? Okay, yeah. So eventually it does tell us we've lost the ball. This is better. Spurs counter-attack at nil-nil. I'm wondering if the more this gets patched, the more varied we're going to see um, the highlights. Go on then, Kulashevsky. Good ball out wide. I need someone to play it back into I don't at the minute. I do now. Oh, Richarlison in a good position. Good defending from Liam Cooper. Still nil-nil into the second half. I'm going to try and ping that one forward to Lucas Mora. I'm going to get it to him. And then I'm going to try and loft that one over to Hyung min Son, who's going to try and knock it across to Richarlison. Get back to that, Son. He does. It's into Richarlison. Ah, it's well blocked by Lorente. 1-0 Leeds United. This is not a good sign. We do have a breaking chance, but it's not the greatest, is it? Because look at how many bodies they've got over there. I'm going to whip that one in. It's on. Whip it across. Lucas Mora in acres. What a save. Oh, we keep it in. Did we not keep that in? Oh, my God. What a save there from Mesley, eh? Goalkeeper that you guys have definitely told me we should be looking at. I'm going to try and whip this one in now with some pace into Richarlison, but Mesley is there. There's not going to be many chances left in this situation. I think that Lucas Moore opportunity, without a doubt, was the best. I don't know what to do here. I feel like just passing it in. Can we get away with passing it in? Probably low and straight. I'm going to put plenty of power on it. I'm going to get it in there to Sessignon because I just didn't think that we had a goal-scoring opportunity there for a second. Lucas Moore now is going to be found. Keep it in, Lucas. That one in and across. Davis. 
Just don't have the bodies, do I? Hybjerg. Hybjerg switched that back. Richarlison. He's got that into Romero now. Where are the bodies in the box for me? It's into Hybjerg and nothing going. This could be the last opportunity that we get. Lucas Moura is going to pick this up, but I wouldn't say it's in a good position. But if he finds Richarlison, which he won't. And that surely will be the full-time whistle. A rough day here at Ellen Road, and we're going to lose 1-0. Not the ideal way to start. I've got to be honest, the highlights that we got given weren't the greatest. That shot from Lucas Moura, well, the header, was the best thing that we could create. And again, the standing so far don't look too bad for us. Just need to be picking up some points because it's so tight. Leeds United now in fourth. What I would give for that to be an actuality in life. But Leeds United in fourth. Again, it's only a couple of points. We're, we're so close to European football. Now, Alfie Whiteman has come back from loan already. We're going to have um, an actual report here, though, for young players because we need to sign one for every position. I'm kind of hoping one of these is going to be a beast. It's going to have to be between these two. Jackson Fry, absolutely not. Bishop, no, neither. Uh, at some stage, we will just sign players anyway just for the objective, but I would like them to be useful in the academy and then be potential players that we might bring up at some point. Now, we have Harvey White going out on loan. I wonder if they're related and Divine both going out on loan. Hopefully, they will get improvements. Bowden departs the club. Austin leaves on loan. Dorcati has now left the club as well. I think it's time for us to go in and make our first transfer signing of this Spurs career mode. And we're going to go for Marcus Edwards. We're going to bring him back. I'm really excited to use him. It was in my brain. It was between him and Madueke. Both of them would have been decent signings. I still might sign both of them at some stage. Madueke, in my opinion, is, is probably the better of the two. The injury trait worries me a little bit now that we've got the injury sliders as they are. Marcus Edwards is going to be the guy we go for. Four-star skill moves, only three-star weak foot. So that's something that I would like to work on. But the guy, the guy's quick. Let's put it that way. He's very good on the ball. I'm, I'm excited to use him. His ball control is pretty decent as well. Now, they're asking prices 34.4 million. But we might have a chance at around 27.5. So let's bear that in mind. I'm going to lowball them way more than that. We're not going to play, uh, pay the release clause. I think if it was around 30 million for this transfer, though, I would probably be happy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go in at 25 and just see what leeway. Now, we have to watch the tension on this one. You're not getting Oliver Skip. Let's let's remove him instantly. I think they can get Oliver Skip. Absolutely not. What if we went just straight up 27? I mean, he's a young player, so this isn't a bad deal. And they're going to say yes to it. So 27 million for Marcus Edwards still leaves us a lot of room in the budget. Of course, with us moving players on now, there'll be even more room in the budget. But Marcus Edwards looks set to be our first sign-in. It's super weird this year with the way that the budget works. You can see we've got a million on the wages, but... That'll be different. Now, I'm going to go important. He's not crucial, but I think he'll be an important player. I'm also going to try and tie him down for a long time. We're going to go for five years. He only wants two. We're not doing that at least three years, Marcus. 27 million and you only give him, you know, imagine only two years. Is that your plan? He can't be thinking he's going to treat the club as a stepping stone. And of course, he wants a pay rise from what he's on now. That isn't a surprise. But still, for a premiership player, that's not that much money that he's asking for. We are going to give him that, and hopefully he will score the five goals to get the bonus. Here is the new cutscenes then. We didn't really watch the Kulisevsky one all the way through. There I am, going to greet Marcus Edwards. Welcome back to Tottenham. As far as I'm aware, he did play there before as an academy player. And he's here doing what I would imagine is his physical. But, I mean, we've already signed him, or he's medical. So, I'm hoping he doesn't need that. But there he is in the Spurs shirt. I'm looking forward to using him, I think. He's going to be so good for us. I genuinely am. Now, let's see what rating we get for this transfer. We got him for less than what they said. How? How have I got a D? He could have saved us 6.4 million on this deal. How? How on God's earth could we have saved 6.4 million on this deal? Daniel, get out of here. Get in the bin. There's no way we could have saved that money. We negotiated down to probably the lowest price that Sporting would go for. Now, before I do any more deals, I am still actually waiting for scout reports to come back. And because we try and play this fairly realistically, teams try not to have to do too much business in January and try and get it all done. Now, there are a few other players that I'm going to look at. Madison, I probably would have gone in for straight away here, but Leicester are actually having a really good season. So in our save, Leicester aren't as bad as they are in real life. So they're going to be more reluctant to sell him and I, but I do fancy Ivan Tony and then sending Scarlett out on loan. Or Jao Pedro, bring him in and then 
loan him out to see if he improves. I don't know yet. Juventus come in with a bid for Emerson Royale. Okay, this is... I, I want more, if I'm being honest. I need to find a right wing back now as well because I don't think you guys have really suggested right wing backs. We could move Tangdanga back there, but it's not a position I feel like he'd be comfortable playing in. So we're definitely going to have to work something out there. We'll propose a new transfer fee. Let's push Juve a little bit. We know they've got money. So 33 million seems like a, a reasonable deal for me. Oh, they're going to bite my hand off. Maybe I could. I was going to put 35 to start with and I didn't. Maybe we could have put 35, but we're going to get 33 million for Emerson. I think that's a good deal. Now, considering we're going to be pushed a little bit in this transfer um, window, I'm going to use something that I haven't used yet, and that's the scout reports. And uh, I'm actually going to look for a wing back. We're going to make it pretty easy for ourselves. I'm literally just... I think we want first team quality uh, instead of just a youngster. And um, can you go wing back? Or do you have to just go left and right back? This is interesting. Can you not break it down to the wing back position? No, it doesn't feel like you can. I'm actually just going to go right back. And we'll probably be able to just retrain them. Maybe I go right mid. Do you know what? I'm going to do one right back and one right mid and see what they come up with. Because we've already got one for left back, which I'm, I'm not really using. And we don't particularly at this moment in time until next season. We don't want to solve problems this year that we don't need to that are going to be problems next year. So a lot of people are saying about Perisic. I get it. He's getting older. So to bring in another left back would make sense. But we don't need that this season. Perisic is still more than good enough for this season. So let's just focus on maybe right back this year. The right midfielders that have come up so far are nowhere near defensive enough for me to sign. We've got a Richarlison loan offer from Inter. I it's just, come on, come on game. No chance. And it's been on fire this season. Two year deal as well. He's going absolutely nowhere. Brian Hill though, we've got one from um, RB. It's not a bad one, but I would rather it wasn't two years. I only want to see him gone for a year. So we're going to change that to a year loan and delegate it. And then I wouldn't mind seeing him go there for a season. I'm pretty confident with his starting 11, they should beat Charlton. But this is not going to be one we play. We're going to quick sim it. I, honestly, I want to get far in the cup. I want a trophy opportunity this year. We did win it. We win it 3-1. Oh, I would have been so fuming if we didn't. The two midfielders coming on. Harry Kane scored. They scored first. Then Hoiberg and Benton Kerr got subbed on and both bad goals. Well, here we go. Emerson leaving the club. See you later, Emerson. I like him on FIFA. I like him on FIFA. I feel like he's been good for us on FIFA. But hey, we're, we're going to let him go. You guys, what you guys wanted. And we listen to the people when it comes to these kind of saves. And we're going to let Emerson go now. And hopefully... I can find someone very quickly because Spencer's got a big job on his hand. We've got the North London Derby coming up. And I don't have any replacement for Emerson at this moment in time. I feel like I'm going to be told off for this deal as well. I did milk out more money than really above his value. What are they going to give me? Okay, they'll give me a B. I'll take a B. I don't actually think these have any impact on your overall rating. They reckon I could have made 8.2 million more because they're idiots. But see, this is my suggestions for right wing back. It's not looking very healthy, is it? Okay, so they've accepted a short-term move, which isn't really what I asked for, but we're going to take that. Brian Hill is going to go to RB Leipzig just for half a season. We'll see how much he progresses. I think once he gets to about 80 rating, he should be all right. He either needs to be that good on the ball that he can go beyond people, or he needs to get a little bit more physically strong, I think, for the Premiership. Not that life's getting any more difficult, but we play Arsenal, and then two days later, now Liverpool. This will be the first played game of the episode. This is going to be the starting 11 for it. Kane, Son, Kulisevsky. I'm, I'm not too worried because we're going to have to rotate for the Liverpool game and this game. So I've tried to split it as much as possible in order to have two very strong lineups for both games edwards is on the bench for this one we we will see him at some stage of course we will it's a strong arsenal side but we did beat them last time out we won the north london derby can we make it two for two in north london derbies this season i'm hoping so it is absolutely raining cats and dogs out there today so that'll be interesting to see how much impact the rain has on the ball and the wear and tear of the pitch i am told that the pitch does have wear and tear this year so that will be interesting to see. You can see it as a game goes on that the pitch gets wear on it, but it'll be interesting to see if the season goes on. I don't know if you remember, I think it was last year, in the early stages of last year, all the pitches looked awful. Like, they were all ruined by, like, match day three or four. This year, they've stayed a lot better. The groundsmen are doing a much better job this season. So hopefully, though, we do see a little bit as time goes on. Now, can we do a better job than what happened in real life? No Emerson in this one, obviously. And as I say, we are 
Tweaking sliders. They are very different. I have looked at some Operation Sport stuff. And hopefully, we're, we're on the right tracks. I mean, I feel like they were much better last time out. We were seeing far less mega high scoring games. We got our first nil-nil. That was a poor pass in the end from Saka. He's done really well to rush Romero. But I'm hoping we just continue down the route now with these sliders. Manchester City are absolutely running away with this league. Do we feel that's going to be the outcome in real life, lads? Because they are absolutely running away with this one in this career mode. I'm going to get to that with Skip. Skip does really well to get that to Basuma. I spotted Harry Kane. Harry Kane for 1-0. What a save with the legs from Ramsdale. Perisic's just going to try something there. And it might work. Hyung Min Son perfectly. It does work. Hyung Min Son. Oh, he still fires the shot off. Nearly blocked. Well saved from Ramsdale again. Two good early opportunities now for us. I'm getting a bit better at the corners, I feel. It's not a bad one in. It's just in the danger zone. I need to get that a little bit further out. And I feel like we can score from that position. Uh, throw in. And I'm going to go to skip there because they've given him all the room in the world. I'm going to hold that up. Oh, if he could have got that ball through. He's not quite there as a passer yet. Perisic. Back across now to Eve Basuma with the shot. Ramsdale's there for every moment. And he's saving them at the moment. Arsenal really struggling to get anything going offensively. And they keep giving this man space. Young Min Son this time. I'm going to dink it over to Harry Kane. Well defended from Saliba. They're out, out wide there to Spence. Ben sent. That's in. Oh, I couldn't get it into Basuma, but Kulusevski is going to get space for Harry Kane. Surely. Oh, my God. Ramsdale. I mean, I've complained about how bad the goalkeepers have been, but Ramsdale, he's, he's playing so well in this match. Right, we're going to try and curl this again because I'm trying to curve it. I don't want to put that much space in there. And they was in there. Skip. I went out to Romero. Why not Romero? Ooh, just over the bar. I cannot believe at this stage how dominant we've been. But we've been very dominant without the breakthrough. First half of lots of chances. None of them going in. We might be at a stage as well, lads, where we can go back to five-minute matches. Uh, we really might be because the slider tweaks, uh, they've just made a world of difference, in my opinion. They really have. They do force you to be a little bit more... Um, Patient with build up. This is a good ball in early. Gabby Jesus. Oh, I thought we blocked it. Oh my god. Off the crossbar. Now they created absolutely nothing. But when they have done, that wasn't a bad opportunity, was it? I'm contemplating. Now you guys tell me what you think, but Lenley is a permanent signing. I I've just really enjoyed using him. He's been very good. I overlooked him. I'm not gonna lie, I did. I really overlooked him early days. Uh, but now I'm really enjoying him. Odegaard is in, and he's going to make it 1-0 Arsenal. And this second half, they've just come out far the better team. After a really dominant first half, all those chances. Arsenal now tearing us apart. Kulusevski will be able to break. And I think he's onside, Harry Kane here. This is a big moment. Harry Kane needs to score that. He just needs to score. And I, we've had the opportunities. That's three attempts now for Harry Kane in front of goal. None of them going in. We need to be so much more clinical in those moments, in those opportunities. The substitutions are going to have to be made now. The triple sub now for us in the hopes of getting back into it. They're going to bring off Sambi and they're going to bring on... I don't know who that is, to be 100% honest with you, but we are going to make a triple sub. I never thought I'd be subbing off Harry Kane to try and get a goal, but Marcus Edwards will make his debut here for Tottenham. A point here wouldn't feel like a bad result, but considering how he played in that first half, this will be... Very disappointing if it's not more than that. Son now. I can't find the ball through. They're really defending fantastically. Hoiberg there. And in the 89th minute, I don't feel like we're going to score. And we're going to lose this 1-1-0. One, one, dominance as well. I cannot believe it. Pure dominance. And we're going to lose out here 1-0. That is a... That's a massive shame, that, to be 100% honest. That's a real shame. Just really struggled to find the back of the net. Six shots to Arsenal's two. They just had that moment at the start of the second half. But I do think... We might try five minutes again. I think we might go back to five-minute halves. Anthony Martial has signed for Villarreal. Okay, I'll, I like seeing these other transfers at the moment. And Radel Baku could be set for his Liverpool debut in this next game against us. Honestly, I love stuff like this. Pellegrini has joined Liverpool as well, so... Liverpool obviously seeing what's happening at Manchester City and they're making these transfer deals as quickly as possible. Baku and Pellegrini in for Liverpool... 
Anthony Martial signing for VRL. What do we think about that one, lads? I feel like that's a pretty decent deal for Man United. The fact that they got 33 million for him. Impressive. This one will not be an easy game, though. At Anfield, and I think I'm gonna change the formation up for this one. Obviously, with us only having Spence as a right back, this will be the starting 11. Son and Kane up top, R9 on the bench, Kulisevsky in behind them. Edwards starts on the right, Sessignon on the left. Edwards is quick enough to get back and forth, so I think he'll be able to help cover that side with Tangnanga. And we've got Hoiberg and Bentenker. This is a strong starting 11 again for the Liverpool game. I wanna win this one. We're gonna up it to five minutes for this match, see what it's like. I do know these games are fairly open. We've got Nunes, Salah, Diaz, Pellegrini with his first start for Liverpool as the captain. It's not been a great start for us in this episode performance-wise. So I'm hoping here we can up that a little bit. Romero, I think I'm still on direct passing and that might cause me a problem. That into Son though is good. Son! To make it 1-0, Allison with a wonderful save. I tell you what, I feel like the goalkeepers are um, the game better because that's what I'm slowly starting to notice here. Let's whip this one in. It's not a bad ball in. Tanganga is in there. Get to that Harry Kane, he can't. Uh, the goalkeepers seem to be improved. I don't know if there has been a patch. Not that I've noticed. But I do feel like the goalkeepers seem miles better than what they were. Sessignon now inside there to Benton Kerr. Benton Kerr then trying to get that one in over to Son. Couldn't. Oliver Skip. Sorry, Kulisevsky trying to win that one. Oliver Skip's not on the pit. Oh, what a ball over. No one's anywhere near Darwin Nunes, who caused me problems last time out, and this time he's going to put that one wide. I think we put him under just enough pressure. Get someone on him. Just trying to stop that. That's what I was trying to stop. Pellegrini puts that one over the bar. Pick it up a little bit here. Go on, Edwards. Don't spot that ball into Son being feasible. Harry Kane then finds Kulisevsky. I tried to whip it back, actually, to Harry Kane, and... Didn't work out in my favour. I'm going to get it into Harry Kane there. He will make it 1-0 Tottenham. I think he was onside. And he was. Harry Kane back in the goals. Exactly what we need. Marcus Edwards there will celebrate with him. Oh, that's such a big moment. What a ball in again here, though. This is from Hoiberg. Finds the space. First time shot. Let's see if Liverpool can respond. One Son. I don't think that was the right pass. It wasn't. Oh, Son's going to nick it back. Hyun Min Son to make it two. Just like that. Liverpool playing themselves in a bad position. Son has to score that. Diaz, back to Darwin. So good at playing that ball. The link up between Diaz and Darwin is unreal. Fabinho now. That's a good ball. Romero's got to stop it. Thiago into Mohamed Salah. Hugo Lloris not doing us any favours there. What a pass in. And they've just undone us. It's 1-1 one, one now. I feel like every time I play against Liverpool, there is destined to be plenty of goals. Son, what are you Son's having a really bad game here. I'm not going to lie to you. Against Liverpool. I'm going to get Sessignon on the run here. Go on then. Why'd they give him so much space? Sessignon now. I'm going to try and whip that one across to Harry Kane. And Virgil van Dijk will be there. And Son, turn the corner a little bit. I need somebody across. Kulisevsky! What a save from Alisson. Said so we're getting no favours from Lloris at the moment. Liverpool are getting plenty from Alisson. Put this one in with plenty of curl. Plenty of venom towards Harry Kane. I thought he was actually going to get there ahead of Alisson. It's going to be 1-1 one, one at half-time. I feel like we've potentially been the best side here. They've had a good few chances early. Then we took over in the game. But we need to just make more of our chances. I need Son to step up a little bit. No doubt Anfield's a tough place to go. And there's no doubt we're learning that we're, we're nowhere near close to being like a Liverpool. Oh, Darwin Nunes there. Oh, this is great. Thiago, don't let him pass that off. Well, in Benton Kerr. Hoiberg. And the ball back. Kulisevsky now. Surely going to be Son. Oh, that was reckless. Let's see what the ref does here. Just a yellow for Kanate. Very aggressive. Darwin Nunes is coming off for Diogo Jota. That seems to be just the sub that they always make. They always make that substitution. Might be egg. I might have spotted Harry Kane with the chip. Harry Kane with the chip. We'll make it 2-1 Tottenham Hotspur. What a chip. I'm getting better at them this year. It was inches between if he would get there or Alisson would. Hoiberg, what a pass. Okay, all my slander for Hoiberg and how tanky he is in the game has been undone. He's staying at the club. What a goal from Harry Kane. Chips it over Alisson. That'll be the front of the papers. He's been very good in this performance. We make it 2-1. We've potentially been the better team. And I'm sorry, but Marcus Edwards is quick. Marcus Edwards is quick. He's beaten Virgil van Dijk. Marcus Edwards for his first goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It just wasn't to be. Block off that run. 
Just needs to maybe help a little bit more defensively. Well in Tanganga. Liverpool corner. We've conceded to one of these before. And that Mohamed Salah goal in the Ajax series, I think that was. I should be back with you very, very soon. Edwards is quick enough, but great slide in there. Oh, good opportunity. Well saved, Lloris. A double sub for us. Marcus Edwards is now going to play in behind Richarlison who will come on for Son. And Lucas Moura is going to go to the wing. Son and Kulisevsky very tired, obviously. Both playing the Arsenal match. Spotted Edwards. Virgil van Dijk surely has fouled him there. No, no foul given. Alisson now. Oh, force him into a bit of a risky ball out, which we're going to win the header. And Lucas Moura is going to play one of the greatest balls into Richarlison you've ever seen. Richarlison still. It just landed perfectly for Alisson in the end. Anger again just tracking that run of Diaz. He's had Diaz in his pocket all game long. Uh, it's just been so good to see. Lloris now needs to be inch perfect with that. He was. Now we can start the move forward. This direct passing that we are playing does cause that issue from time to time. Richarlison now. Get it across. Richarlison. Oh, it's not the ball. You wanted Edwards. Straight at Allison. I wanted the ball into Harry Kane, to be honest with you. Robertson will play that down to the corner of where Tanganga is. And guess what he will do again? successfully get the ball clear and that's not a bad ball forward that is not a bad ball forward because Lucas Moura is going to play that one in behind to Harry Kane and then Harry Kane is going to loft that one into Richarlison and your Matip is just going to do enough to keep defending like we have been this second half defensive performance has been unreal these lads have really worked in this second half defensively it, it's been really impressive Luis Diaz shot there will be blocked this will be the last chance for Liverpool here at Anfield to get the goal it's going to go in where I expected it. Romero's up for it. They're going to get a second bite of the cherry here. Mohamed Salah gets it in. Diego Jota in the dying embers of the game. Once again, Liverpool bite me. I cannot believe it. Diogo Jota will make it 2-2 and Liverpool will rescue a point from this one. Absolute heartbreak. So unlucky when it come off that first post and there's no time left in this one. The referee blows his whistle and... That definitely feels more like a loss than, than a victory in terms of points. We had this game. They defended so well. Even Romero's header away there at the end. That'll be frustrating. Frustrating for that man as well. He did fantastic against Luis Diaz. Maybe we could have done a little bit more on the offensive end. But Harry Kane was perfect again. His second goal was brilliant. So frustrating. Two very frustrating results then against the bigger teams in the league. I, I just feel like... I don't know how we've not walked away with three points from either of them. We play Arsenal again in the FA Cup. Might be an opportunity for more revenge. But currently we sit eighth. But there's still plenty of time. But now the gap is getting bigger. We need to start picking up some better results. Now we need a right back. We need a right wing back. And the only option we really have currently at the moment on this list is Aaron Hickey. And I'm tempted to make that sign in. We do plan on going in big for someone like... Bastoni or someone like that in the summer. Finally, we've got some more right back options coming back. But I mean, they're all so old. Matty Cash wouldn't be a horrendous shout, actually. Hakimi is just, I mean, he's one for the future, maybe. Sergi Roberto as well is not liked by Barcelona and could maybe come in for one or two seasons and do a job there for us at right back. Because I think Spence, the evolution of Spence will be, that will be his position nailed on. So Sergi Roberto could be an option with his contract expiring for cheap to come in for one or two seasons, very seasoned international, and just do a job for us. Sessignon transfer now from Benfica. They've gone with an exchange player. Who is the exchange? João Mario, who is, who is not a bad player, any stretch of the imagination, but I really like what Sessegnon's doing. I think he's going to be maybe the left wing back starting in the future. And we are going to loan out the Senegalese star, Sa. I don't know if that makes any sense because I don't know if he's a star. But he's going to go out for the rest of this season. I like what I've seen from him. Strong, physical, tall player. Uh, but he needs game time. So we're going to accept that and he'll go to Athletic Bilbao. So now it's Arsenal in the cup. I mean, at the minute, Harry Kane's undroppable. But we're going to start Lucas Moore in this one because of tired legs. Spence comes back in. Ganga's performance was just unreal. So he's going to start next to Len Ley. And Perisic will start this one as well as Hoiberg and Benton Kirby in my midfield. And I am going to quick sim it. Or do I play the attacking highlights? Let's play the attacking highlights for this one. This At this stage of the season, is the only way we can win a trophy. So if we lose that at this stage, that would be pretty horrendous. Son is going to 
be on the counter here, but it's it's not going to be a good counter. Benton Kerr then into Son. Oh, that's not the ball back across I wanted. Benton Kerr now. He spotted Harry Kane in space. Yes, Harry Kane is at it again. 1 0 Tottenham here in the cup. And that is massive. After the loss to Arsenal recently, had a, a very valiant draw against Liverpool. Let's put that one out there. But after that recent loss, you need a performance like that. Oh, is this? Okay. Okay. Hyung Min Son. A very big opportunity for him here to make up for recent performances. And he will do it. It's 2 0 Tottenham. We're running riot here at the Emirates against Arsenal. Well, it's still 2 0. And we're through again. Would you believe it? This time is Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora, what can he do? I want it different from Harry Kane, but I'm still going to find him. And Harry Kane's shot is saved by Ramsdale. 2 1 now. 90th minute. Surely the end of the game. But we'll still have this crossing opportunity, is what they're saying. Oh, it will be a crossing opportunity as well, potentially for some. Maybe not, actually. Oh, now it might be. Young Min Son into Harry Kane, blocked by Gabriel. That should be the end of the game. We will win it 2-1. We'll go through to the next round. And a little bit of revenge there against Arsenal. I'm happy with that. When you think about the highlights we got there in the Arsenal game, though, compared to the highlights I got gifted in the Leeds game, it's, it's just a toss of the coin on what highlights you're going to get because we had horrendous ones in that Leeds game. Well, so far, I actually think the business we've done has been very good. But I know there's not been tons of incomings, but again... In the prospect of realism, you wouldn't want to have to bring in too many players. We've got so many options in the centre of the park as well here that Ivan Illich is someone who was recommended as being another playmaker in the centre of that park. And he does look very good. He's very, very good on the ball. And his long passing and short passing is fantastic. While he's at Hellas Verona, this could be a cheap deal. And if we are looking to play that two up top formation maybe in the future this definitely would be one of those signings that would help that midfield so i think we're gonna go in uh, but i'm not gonna pay way over the odds because he's very young he's 21 see how much money he's gonna cost here we're gonna offer which i think i just go in at 30 million and just cut our losses and say 30 million that's my stance on it you accept it or we don't you're not getting lucas mora He's been so important to us in the rotation. With the Champions League, you've got to remember, with the Champions League starting back, we're going to need all the players we can get. 32 million, what do we say? 33.8. That's not that big of a rise for a 21-year-old. Rayleigh Bright future, I'm going to accept that. Rayleigh does add that extra bit of passing because now we've got Benton Kerr and Illich, who both can be the created midfielders. And then we have Basuma, Hoiberg and Skip, who can be those brute forces there skip we are trying to improve his passing and hopefully we'll do that over time uh, i'm gonna go important because i think this might actually have an impact on one of the goals we've got one of the objectives four years is absolutely fine no release clause they want a release clause i'm tempted to accept it it's 72.4 million we usually don't do release clauses because the ones they offer you are ridiculous but 72.4 million is not a bad release clause for a 21-year-old at 78 rated. So I'm going to accept it. Let me know your thoughts down below. But out of realism, we're going to give him this release clause. And then we don't know how much he wants. But if we're taking it from Marcus Edwards, he wanted quite a big pay rise. So I'm going to offer him 40 grand ahead of the 19 he's already on and 600 signing bonus. See what he says to this. It's reasonable. We're going to snap up our second transfer to the club. Now, if I'm correct, I think this is just the same cutscene every time. So, I mean, bells and whistles that EA have put on this is uh, is great. Yeah, this is just a carbon copy of what we've already seen now for all of them. It would be nice if we saw a different one every time. What are they going to give me? I've got a feeling I'm going to get a really bad grade for this one because we did pay a lot of money. Yeah, we've got an uh... We got an F. Do I care? No, I don't. Now that we've reassured the centre of midfield quite a bit, I'm very happy. But I'm tempted to play this Leicester game. So I'm actually going to leave this episode here because I want to play that Leicester game in the next episode. I also want to give you guys a little bit of time to give some feedback on transfers for right back. Now, if you do give me a new player, I won't have time to scout them. So at the moment... It is looking like it is going to be between Aaron Hickey and Sergi Roberto. Now, does Sergi Roberto make sense? to? Because he can cover the centre of the park as well. And I think he's pretty fast, right? He's not the quickest. He does have a lot of stamina, though, which will help him in the way that we play. 
and he is more of a seasoned veteran who will be happy to make way for Spence as he improves. This is just someone for one or two seasons. His contract is going to be up as well. So we could just sign him, which is a shame because I actually want to make a transfer bid. So maybe it is Hickey. We need him now. Or we could just make a punt on someone absolutely out of the blue that you guys suggest. But that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next episode. I'm really excited to get your guys' feedback. I will see you in the next episode where we will do deadline day. We'll play the Leicester game and then get into the next month. Do we actually know who we've got in the Champions League in the next round? I don't think we do. Oh, we do. It's RB Leipzig over two legs. And of course, we beat Arsenal there in the cup, so we can go deeper in the FA Cup. That is not a bad draw for us. I, I don't want to underestimate Leipzig at all, but that is definitely a team we can beat. But that's it from me. I'll see you in the next episode, guys.